This video is going to present a demo for the Earthquake Visualization Web Application, which is designed by Zicheng, Huang, and Yunren. The major goal of our web application is to create an interactive platform for general audience who are interested in geography and earthquakes to visualize worldwide earthquakes happen from 1965 to 2016. Particularly, we hope our application can be used for geography education and we design relative tools to achieve that goal. There are substantial work on visualizing earthquakes, but most of them are applying single visualization technique. While our web application implements three different visualizations, like static map, animations, and filters, as you can see on this menu here. So it's more friendly to the general audience because people may have different preference in visualizing. Okay, now let's go to our maps. So first is a flat map. This flat map showing earthquakes and on the right side of the page, uh, here's a time slider and a legend showing the magnitude of earthquake. As you slide the time bar, the earthquake changes on the map. This is a simple visualization that gave users a general idea where our earthquakes happen and what's the relative magnitude of those earthquakes. After users have a background of earthquake, they may be interested in how different things like when do these earthquakes happen and how many earthquakes happen each year. Therefore, we have second visualization. This visualization implements DC cross filter. There's a time chart and the earthquake magnitude chart and also a map here. You can zoom in and out the map and select individual earthquake event to get time and magnitude information here, like here. If you want to see an earthquake from 2008 to 2011, you can first drag the time bar. And then you can select the magnitude, such as uh, 6. When you filter the data, the count on both sides of the chart changes, as well as the map. So markers uh, of the earthquake changes. So far, the visualizations are all on static map. In order to make the visualization more vivid and meet the taste of different population, we introduce our rotating globe here. You start with the rotating globe, and on the left, there's a legend for magnitude, and there is a play and pause button for earthquake, and you can pause the rotation and resume the rotation as well. And the time slider are built for easy jumping between desired time spot. So you can slide the time here. As well as you can rotate the globe like this. And for example, if I want to see the 2011 Japan earthquake, I can uh, change the time slide to 2011 and change the yeah so as you can see here so visualizing a globe instead of map flat map avoids distortion and strengthen the spatial pattern of global earthquake distribution in a more intuitive way so that's all for our web application. We hope you enjoy exploring our web applications. And if you have any questions and concerns, feel free to contact us. Thank you.